1987 when we started Trails West Manufacturing. The whole idea was to build a quality product that would probably fall into the mid price range, something that the majority of the customers out there would be able to afford. As we uh, went through the manufacturing process in the early years of the company, at one point we realized that probably the biggest objection in the steel trailer industry was rust and corrosion, which meant we needed to come up with the best paint metal prep situation in the industry. So we teamed up with the best paint manufacturers out there and together with their technology and our ability, we were able to come up with what we believe is the best paint process in the industry today. Over the years, Trails West has developed a reputation as being one of the leaders in the horse and stock trailer industry. We're especially excited at this time to introduce our new special light product, which is the aluminum skin trailer. And here again, uh, value is what we're trying to create. And in the special light trailer, as well as all other Trails West products, I would challenge anyone who's in the market to find a better value than Trails West products. You might find things that are cheaper, but I'm talking value, and that's what it's all about. Value, quality, customer satisfaction. The Special Light trailers start out the same way as our high quality steel trailers do. We start with a proven, durable, rigid steel structure. We use steel because of its uh, ability to withstand high stresses. Another advantage of steel is uh, its high density. This allows it to dampen road noise, uh, the, the noises that come from the axles uh, and through the road aren't transmitted up through the walls and to the livestock that you're hauling. So it's much quieter um, for hauling livestock, more comfortable for the animals. The framework starts out as various sizes and shapes of structural steel tubing. The steel tubing is cut to exact lengths and then it's welded together in jigs and fixtures to make sure that it's square and that it's precise. Then those various sub-assemblies, we call them, are brought together and welded together to form the structure of the trailer. The structure is welded rather than bolted. Steel welds are stronger than the parent material, and so uh, each sub-assembly, uh, because it's welded, is as strong as the parent material itself. Once the structure is completed, the challenge we have is attaching the aluminum skins. As you know, dissimilar materials can no longer be welded together. Another issue we have with dissimilar materials is when they touch, they tend to corrode. And so the way that we've gone past this is we use VHB tape. VHB, or very high bond tape, is an acrylic adhesive in tape form. And uh, that's what we use to attach the aluminum skins to the steel structure. The advantage of this is that we don't use a fastener. A fastener every so often creates stress points. A tape along the whole seam, there's no stress points. And so the entire seam is more structurally sound. Another advantage is that you have that whole seam bonded and sealed. So the trailer is watertight when you're finished. Trails West has 14 years of experience with VHB tape. We know how to apply it. We've used it in our steel products. We know that it's durable. We know that it lasts. And so we're just using this experience with our aluminum products as well. Once the structure is finished, we wipe and scuff every tube with a prep solvent. This uh, uh, eliminates all of the mill scale and all of the oil and grease from the steel, which allows the acrylic adhesive to stick to the tubing. Uh, then we uh, wipe down the aluminum twice with a prep solvent to remove any oil that may be left from the mill to produce the aluminum skin. That skin is then adhered to the tape, and then all the seams are rolled to make sure that there is pressure put on 
the tape to make sure the acrylic is stuck. After the, uh, the aluminum is attached to the steel structure, we're then able to um, hang the gates and the doors. The gates are actually welded because we have a steel frame that we can weld those hinges to. Uh, this is a common area of failure in many trailers. Bolted joints tend to fail over time because the bolt holes will waller out with the high stresses that uh, come along with bouncing a trailer up and down the road. But with the steel structure, we're able to weld the gates in place and that eliminates this challenge. Uh, when all of that is finished, the trailer is done on the uh, the steel line and it's ready to go in for prep and paint.